Hey, what's going on guys? This is Nerf Herder, your boy. <laughs> Got something that is, it took a while to do. Uh, and I had a lot of fun playing with it. Well, it took a while to do. So if you guys know Kyberphonic Fonts, AKA Kyber Daddy, AKA Kyber Dads. Kyber Daddy don't do interviews. Good friend of mine, uh, Jesse has a uh, Trooper Amp, TR, -A TR Amp. He got a blaster and I had a lot of fun playing with this thing. So he sent it to me to kind of touch it up. I wanted to, I, I wish so much, oh, I wish so much that I could have got this first. Anytime you're doing any kind of weathering, it's best, always best to have an empty hilt or an empty project or whatever it is, zero electronics inside of it. If you have electronics in it, you can't, you can't really chemically age it. You can't let it sit in this liquid chemical that, you know, eats at the aluminum and makes it look nasty and old, which is the way I like to do it. I like to use aluminum black and a couple other things. So we have here is a Mandalorian blaster, which is, uh, I believe it's an airsoft style gun, right? It's all aluminum. The wood grips are about the only thing that's not aluminum on this thing. Jesse got it and sent it directly to me from the guy from the install. Since I couldn't chemically age it, and when it came, it was all, uh, when it came to me, it was all in a this finish right here. It was all pretty much silver, which if you look at the show and you look at the concept arts uh, images, it's um, predominantly a black blaster, kind of like the DL-44 incense. I, what I did was I carefully, and I mean carefully, had to take a little bit of uh, aluminum black in places that weren't gonna leak and very tediously aged some of it. And then the rest of it had to be done with uh, paint. This is uh, a couple different forms of acrylics, acrylic paints, uh, some oils to get different uh, grit and grime and buildups. And that's what took me a while with this was building up layers. I had to build up a lot of layers because it will, since it is, you know, when you're painting an aluminum piece, if you're not using some kind of hardcore method, the um, paint is just gonna rub off of the aluminum piece. Uh, even if you clear coat it a million times, certain areas, if you dig in and scratch, it's gonna come off, which is just kind of a bummer. But since, you know, he's not gonna be doing any crazy <laughs> gunslinging with this thing, um, it'll mainly be a shelf piece and he'll take it out and blast it and whatnot. And, and it is so much fun, y'all. Okay, I've been wanting to get into blasters for a long time, but if you are, in the know, <laughs> blasters are way more expensive than lightsabers, which is just crazy. Trooper Amp, T, capital T-R, A-M-P. Uh, I believe he's more of a forum guy, uh, props forum guy, but he does a lot of really cool stuff. I saw his website oh, and I just did a lawgiver from Judge Dredd, you know, aliens. He's got the Predator gauntlet and all the electronics in here because this is installed. I wish uh, I knew how to install it. <laughs> I didn't want to take it apart and play with it. It's not mine and, and it's not my area expertise with that soundboard or any of that stuff. So, but if I had known, I would have taken it all apart and done the weathering job my way and then reinstalled it. But I really do want to start installing the blasters but uh that'll be for another time so this has a soundboard in it you got a recharge port right here and a kill switch right here you got like a tri-creed down in there with like a lens or i don't know if it's a tri-creed what is that yeah it's a tri-creed it's a single or not a tri-creed it's a single like a single creed like a quad creed and then um activations right here and then your auxiliary is right here. This little button right here. Speaker comes, all the noise comes out right through there. So this thing has a ton of, of fonts. There's so many blasters and I don't even know what all the blaster fonts are. There's a lot. Uh, if I were to show them all off, which I will show you guys quite a bit, this would still be like a 45 minute video. So let's go ahead and power this thing on. So, bloop. Now, the other thing that's cool is press the button. Back to it. <laughs> this is the first font. Um, Jesse, if you are to switch fonts, if you don't wait and you accidentally press the trigger in the thing, it'll bring you all the way back to that 
font right there. So you always want us to, to wait. So what you do is you hold down the button. Settings on. It'll say settings on. If you were to press the trigger right now, you'll get a power indicator, which kind of sucks because I drained the battery on this guy. Power at 39%. We'll see how long we can roll. We can ride with this one, but press it. Uh, press it again. Current weapon DL44. DL44. Okay, that was a DL44. My bad. This is not. That's not the stock one that we'll go back to. There is a number one spot, which is the Mandalorian blaster. Once you hold and press, and it says current weapon, then to scroll through all the fonts of the weapons, you just press the trigger once. DLT19. DLT19. E10. E10. E11. 11 11D Dark Forces E11 E11S E22 EC17 E3 So many E-Web F11D Millennium Falcon Millennium Falcon Millennium Falcon's pretty cool Since we're here I'll go ahead and show you guys Settings off Load a new profile Don't touch anything Now you're good This one's got that little background Very surprised. There's a little bit of vibration from the speaker. I don't know how you can hear the, the Millennium Falcon. A little beeps in the background too. Press and hold. Settings on. Press one more time. Current weapon Millennium Falcon B44. Don't know what this is. Halo SMG. Uh, any Halo fans out there? I'm gonna go ahead and do this right now, just because it's really cool. It shows off another feature. This has, um, well, first of all, uh, Halo. Settings off. Loading new profile. Yeah, there we go. So whenever you select the setting, don't touch anything. Uh, well, you press and hold that, and it selects the font. And then when you let go, don't touch the trigger or anything. Wait, because if again, like I said, if you press the trigger, it will. It has like a revert to st to stock settings mode, and it'll throw you back to the first font. So let it play out. Like it'll, you'll hear like a little e, and then it will like, like while it selects it, and then it'll have like a boot up sound, and then that boot up sound will play, and then you're good. This is a Halo one. I just I think it's cool because this has uh, overheating features, reload features. Like each font has different things on it depending on the weapon. So <laughs> that's some Halo stuff. And then press here. <laughs> it overheated. And now it's out of ammo. How freaking cool is that, man? How stinking cool is that? Then to reload, you just press the auxiliary. Let's go to the other, uh, other. How dope is that? So settings on. Current weapon, Halo SMG. IB-94. Sacros K-11. See, I don't know some of these. Klingon Disruptor. Klingon Disruptor for, uh, Star Trek. Settings off. Loading new profile. Now you can touch it. Get out of the ground! Oh man, this one vibrates a lot. It's just like Jeremy's mom. <laughs> oh, that's cool. See, they all have different lights, different uh, settings for colors. Ammo, warning, on. 
Auxiliary output off. Demo mode off. Current weapon Klingon disruptor. So that was the whole menu. You can scroll through. I haven't touched any of it because I don't want to be the one that messes it up. <laughs> I just figured out how to switch through fonts and I was like, that'll do. So back to current weapon. MP5. MP5. M14. Plasma rifle. Plasma rifles from uh, Terminator. I'm a huge Terminator fan, so check this out. Settings off. Loading new profile. Da, 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 da. It's even purple. Really to get the sound though, that reminds you of Terminator 2 is, is freaking the fully auto. And it's purple, man. I mean, how cool is that? So dope. Okay, and then let's go ahead and... <laughs> let's get out of here. Settings on. I'm showing you guys like all out of universe fonts. Let's get to some Star Wars fonts. RT97C. RT9. SE14R. SE44C. I'm sure some of you guys will recognize what these are. I'm just kind of going to land on some that I recognize. Slave 1. Well, the Slave 1's cool. Hold on. Settings off. Loading new profile. And again, just like the Millennium Falcon, you got like the Slave 1 background clicks and noises and ambient noises and. such a great such a great sound for it seismic charge I mean seismic charge come on <laughs> settings on TIE Fighter is another one of those. Settings off. Loading new profile. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. <laughs> you say to me, sucker? <laughs> oh, I love that so much. Settings on TL fifty TNG phaser West Star thirty four. Oh, that was a, another Star Trek phaser. X wing fighter. X wing fighter. We gotta stop there. Settings off. Load a new profile. Same thing. Ambient sounds of the X wing. Oh. Caster, some chewy action in here. Twenty nineteen detective special. All right, this is one I wanted to, to see. Twenty nineteen detective special, I believe, is a Blade Runner sound font. So where this one's cool, <laughs> where this one I really get a kick out of is whenever you you have six shots, I think, and at the fifth shot, it'll let you know. There's your five, six, you're out. Reload. C 
Scion rifle. Cylon. DC-15. DC-15. This is Rex's blaster, I believe. Settings right? off. Loading new profile. Down on the ground. Put your hands behind your head. There we go, there's one of the stun. Settings on. Current weapon DC 15, DC 17, Defender DH 17, DL 44, DL T 19. E11. All right, let's end it on the 11. Send it on the 11, huh? <laughs> oh man, I can have fun with that for hours. I could have fun with that for a very, very long time. So, comes with a really cool stand. This thing is really nice and it looks really good on display. Even if it was just a shelf piece, this looks awesome. I mean, look at it. There you go, Jesse. So, like I said, man, some of the paint in areas where you do kind of grip and grab and hold on to and move, kind of wear down over time. The name of the game with the process that we had to use, but also it adds to Star Wars. I mean, it wears and tears. That's the Star Wars game, you know. The Paint jobs always look faded. Everything looks scratched up and used. And that's the beauty of the prop making in Star Wars. Don't gotta be pristine and pretty. Hope you like it, Jesse. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for letting me play with it. And I hope to do more blasters in the future. That'll do it for this, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I got a lot of things coming out. I've got live streams with a bunch of friends of mine. I've got sound font reviews that I need to catch up with. Plenty of things in the works that I'm pretty excited about. So keep this channel going. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much. And until next time, may the force be with you. Scruffy looking.